Hey friends, I wanted to take a minute to show you how to install iOS apps on your new MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, or MacBook Mini with the M1 processor. So what you're looking at here is my MacBook Air. This is just the basic model with the Apple M1 processor. So I've installed some iOS apps that are only available on your iPad or iPhone already. Let me show you those. For example, here's JW Library. You can open up JW Library, go into Meetings, open up your Watchtower, scroll through that. You can go into the uh, Life and uh, Ministry section. You can go through all the parts here. You could go up and listen to one of the songs or the media files. All of it works. Another app that I've installed that's only on the iPad is mDomestics. mDomestics is a congregation management system similar to KHS, but it's designed for your uh, Apple iPad, and that way you got it with you all the time. And uh, now you're able to run it on your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, MacBook Mini with the M1 processor. So it's installed and working fine. So let me show you how we do it. So you'll go to a website called iMazing. You'll install iMazing on your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, or MacBook Mini with the M1 processor. Once it's installed, you'll need to connect your two devices together with a cable. In my case, I have both my iPad Pro and my MacBook Air have a USB Type-C connection. So I have a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable connecting the two together. You may have a lightning port or some other type of connection. So once that's connected, you'll open up the iMazing application that you installed. In the top left, make sure you've highlighted your uh, device and it should show that it's connected. Then over on the right hand side, go to Manage Apps. You may have to put in your Apple ID and password if you haven't already for it to allow you to do this. So now we're going to scan through and we're going to find an app that I know is only on the iOS device. All these are installed uh, apps that are on that iOS device. So we're going to do the JW language. So you'll first click on it to download it. Here's an example of me having to put in my password. So once the app is downloaded, then you'll right click and you'll go to export IPA. I usually put it in applications, save it. Then we're going to minimize this and we're going to go into applications. So here we are in our applications and we're going to be looking for that application which we just installed which was JW uh, language. So it's an IPA file right now so we've got to install it. So we'll double click it and install it. Now if we open it up, there's our application. So then you know we could come down and we could in uh, choose a language and it would get us started. So really friends, it's pretty simple, pretty easy to do. That's how you install iOS apps on your new MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, MacBook Mini with the M1 processor. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video.